fashion. We are <laughs> back again. Well, <laughs> yes. we've been here, we've been here throughout. So we are here for a discussion and we want to list down whatever is in our bucket list. But this is not coming out of our thoughts like directly points. We are being guided by questions that we're gonna read them online loud. Okay, we're gonna read them out loud from online. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so first of all, what's a bucket list? Uh-huh. Let me see, let me see. It's here. So can we yeah. use this and we use it? Yes, yeah, no, you can. If you have never heard of the term bucket list, it's a list of the goals you want to achieve, dreams you want to fulfill, and life experience you wish to experience before you die. Before you kick the bucket list. Before you kick the bucket, literally, that's yeah. what is you put in that bucket list. So haha. Um, uh-huh. So we begin with one. If you what would you do if you had unlimited time, money, and resources? Unlimited. Yeah. Limited. Unlimited. Oh. Oof. Let's begin with time. What would you do if you had unlimited time? Like, what do you like spending time doing that maybe you don't get to do all the time because there's no time? Um, this has not been thought through so much. So I think if I had unlimited time, I'd visit so many people. <laughs> So many yeah. people and so many places. Because it's rushing our days. Yeah. yeah. People don't go out. True. Don't see each other. Yeah. So I think if it is time for me, then I would visit. visit. Money. If I had unlimited money, I think one of the things I'd do is go to a makeup school. And then um, eventually open my own business. Then um, travel. Just travel. I, I don't know. Probably not a specific place, but travel. Yeah, hey, making mine sounds like sounds like like what's the best person? <laughs> Sorry. No. Okay, okay, uh, okay, 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 okay. I'll just say what's in my head. Yes. So if I had unlimited time, well, I'd also visit people. Uh, but I'd take more time reflecting on on my own. Yeah. There are things I never think about, and I just do them, and then later I'm like, oh, what's that mean? Yeah. yeah. So, that's important. If I had a lot of money, I would try invest so that I can help other people. I don't know how. Maybe like help build a school or a hospital or something. Giving back. Yeah, giving back to the community. I'm a community person. Yeah. So number two, what have you always wanted to do but have not done yet? Get my head. <laughs> So of course I'd love to get married before I die. Definitely, <laughs> definitely, yeah. That's that's almost like that goes anytime getting married, and having kids, and having a family. Yeah, kids. Oh my goodness. Uh-huh. Especially kids. Okay, getting married. Any countries, places, or locations you want to visit? Well, I want to visit Morocco because yeah. it's rich in <laughs> culture. Yeah. Want to visit Morocco. Yeah. Ha. about a place I'd, I'd want to visit. So there's no place that you've always been crashing on or just looking at it and like... Bahamas? Oh, 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 why? I don't know the beaches. Yeah, I don't know anything about Bahamas. Well, okay, the beaches. Yeah. The scenery. Okay, what experiences would you want to have? Um, zip lining. Ah, bungee jumping. I've never tried that, so at yeah. least I want to try that before I die. I've gone skydiving. Yeah. Was, it was good. Ah, I, I went to a Sydney island last year. So it was good. Yeah. For you? Achievements? Achievements? Yeah. Achievements what? See, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Said, what did you Experience or yeah. yeah. Any special moments you want to witness? Um, I. <laughs> okay. Yes. Her getting married. <laughs> Cannot wait. <laughs> I cannot wait. Like for real, I can't. Wow. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> pressure. Wait. Pressure. Wait. How? Real. How are you visioning my marriage? No, as in like your wedding. Okay. How are you visioning it? I mean, what's so? What's making you anxious about the thing? I can't wait to see whom she'll get. She'll be getting married to at oh! first. Let's just start there. I like that game. Yeah, plus I know she goes all out when it comes to 
dresses and putting on stuff and makeup so honestly i can't wait to see all that to be a witness to all that yeah and she's getting excited <laughs> this is fun yeah okay special moments i want to witness oh my goodness eh when you come choose <laughs> I'm not speaking. I'm not as anxious <laughs> okay. as you are. Okay. But maybe the day I publish my book or okay. something. Yeah. 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 Okay. What activities or skills do you want to learn or try out? Mm. Yeah, there's makeup, there's that. Um I think for me it's uh, having a very musical ear. Like I can say that is wrong. Or that sounds amazing. Like I mean, like you know, you're very specific when you're giving details. Not that this person has sung off, but then you can't, like you can't explain it. So having that skill to actually do that for me is. Yeah. Well, activities or skills do you want to learn? Learning, learning, learning. Actually, I, you know, I want to be a techie. I'm Yeah, yeah, you told me. So yeah. Actually, in future, I want to make robots. No, because wow. <laughs> wow. I know even my high school teacher would get would <laughs> I had I had no complete interest in these things. Yeah, but you see when I when I now kept on blogging I realized I ran my own website. Mm. I wanted I, and then at times I wanted to edit it. I don't know how to. Yeah. And then I had to learn how to do it because I disturb people all the time. Mm -hmm. So I want my thing to change. I want this color to change to go here. I want this and this. Mm. So now I realize I want to learn how to make it. And then I realize there's market in that. So yeah, of course is. I'm thinking money. And then I'm now realizing that in in the in the foreign countries like in the US people are advancing. People are getting robots to try overcome the people like there's now it's, it will come to unemployment because you're creating robots to, to communicate to people. Your systems, maybe the booking online things or whatever is done. Even the customer care thing. People will stop using people and start using machines. It's just a recorded or a robot thing. So in future, robots are whatever is going robots to Robots are the future. Then many things will go down because we're just programming systems. So if I learn how to make robots, I'll still be on the market. I think for me one of the things that I've remembered is um, is uh, raising resources because um, there are different ways to actually raise resources and I think um, yes there are investments and all that but then how can you actually go to someone as you're networking and talking to them and in the same way actually raise resources because resources are needed in even while you're running your business building robots and all that so for me it's an actual skill yeah, yeah. so what are the most important things you can ever do huh important you can ever do like i don't get it Impo i think when i think of well it's random but that question i think for me at go with uh, important things i think for me it will then be raising leaders hmm. yeah um because oh, like something you're good in i know it's important and probably i don't know what are the most important things you can ever do you can ever do it can you be to, to you do. or to the community to the society what what is this important thing that's what I'm saying for me it's raising leaders so knowing that if I leave there's someone else there yeah I don't know about this I'm just blank blank okay. Okay. <laughs> what would you like to say or do together with other people people you love family friends hmm. I'd love to spend quality time with my people yeah, yeah. especially in this life where everyone is in a hurry Life is everyone is rushing around. Slow down. Yeah, at least slow down, take mm -hmm. time. At least have well, uh, uh, well, whatever I'm thinking is that maybe in future, I want to have like um, monthly or weekly, like just going taking my family out, yeah. especially my parents. That's important. I think that's all. 
any specific individuals celebrities famous people you want to meet in person I have a lot of people I'd want to meet in person but to be specific maybe I want to meet Oprah Winfrey yeah for now I think because other, the other people I wanted to meet are dead <laughs> I think for me there's there's this um, there's this woman called Priscilla Shire. She's she's amazing. She's amazing. I love how she talks. How she's a preacher. <laughs> also in Maya Maya Angelou. She's a poet. Yeah. 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 I like the way she talks also. So I like her brain, so I'd love to meet her. Mm-hmm. Love how she thinks. What do you want to achieve in the different areas of your life like social, love, family, career, finance, health, your weight, fitness levels, spiritual? Uh, social life, I think for me first I'd go with uh, having genuine close friends. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah, so socially having such kind of people who impact me positively and who build me and at the same time pouring into my life as I pour into them to theirs and as well have fun with them my love life I think uh, ultimately I want to get married have a family have kids and raising them now when it comes to spiritual whatever uh, for me I'd, I'd want to get to that level where now when I'm married and have kids I want to raise them up in the ways of God yeah plus of course you can't raise someone up if you're not there as well so be like pulling them up so for me it's that family what do i want to achieve i don't know we are a very small family so we are already intact really uh career yeah we have each other i don't know about career makeup have a have a have my own business running up and running finance financially stable not living from hand to mouth but then having uh, the, st- the kind of stability where you're ready to actually help someone you know as in there's there's money aside for people yeah not only for my own and for my family my health could help like for me that is that is very important it could help yeah well social i want to bring out a positive energy to the people in my social life I know I do. Actually, many people don't know when I am stressed. I do smile a lot in front of people. So I want to maintain that. And also, I want to learn, a lo- I want to take a lot from people as much as they do take from me. Because at this point, I'm thinking I am giving out too much, but I'm getting quite little from people. I don't want to start uh, getting selfish, but. Uh, it's time. It's time I I find the people who I know are beneficial to me. Uh, love um, to achieve. Well, you know, I just want someone who will love me unconditionally. I know I can get stubborn, so yeah. so I, w- I also want to learn how to love a person's imperfection. Mm-hmm. I try, I do, but uh, <laughs> I can get impatient. <laughs> so family. Well, I'd want to make my parents proud. I would want to be the person that they look up to. Both of them, the parents and my siblings, of course, because I'm the first one. So I'd want to lead a good example. Career. Well, I want to have my own publishing house, you know, in future. Like when I manage to publish a book and then I become now the lead publisher of the world. Like just sitting there in my own library and... Um, <laughs> yeah. Finance. Well, I want to have. If I am earning monthly, then I would want to. I want. I would want my savings to be thrice whatever I earn. So, like to be thrice and more. If, for example, I earn five thousand in a month, my savings at that point should be fifteen or more. You understand? So at least you know I'm, I'm at a safe place. Mm. In case I don't earn, then I can live for three months or more. 
I, I heard it from a podcast somewhere. So someone said if your if your savings is less than what you earn or is less than three times what you earn, mm-hmm. you are not safe. Yeah. So at least that one I would want to have in future because I'm not safe there. Yeah. Health. Um, well, I have a lot of health issues, but I in future I just love to be clean. That means clean. eating clean. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, because health clean. mostly comes from what you eat. Clean can be you know, drug. <laughs> so I to want to eat clean, okay. even drugs clean, mental clean, okay. everything. I just want to be clean. I'll be healthy. Yeah, not all spiritual. That is so deep. deep, deep. But of course, before I die, I want to go to Hajj. You know, uh, and yeah. So in Islam, that is like when you go there, you get cleansed and all your sins are are being forgiven and stuff. So before I die, it's quite expensive. So before I die, I look forward to that. Also, maybe take my mom. What do you need to do to live a life of greatness or to live a life of greatest meaning? Oh. What's a life of greatest meaning defined by you? Oh. Um, this is <laughs> so wide. My mind is everywhere right mm, now. So wide. Greatest meaning. Oh my god. No, for real. This is like. This is, this is so weird. <sighs> greatest meaning. Okay. So. Speaking of from where I'm at right now, what would be of greatest meaning to me would be so just a background. I'm a, I'm a worship leader, and one of my mission and vision is to to raise worship leaders of this generation. So for me, if I if I am part of something, and then I am I am raising leaders to become like me or better than me that for me is an achievement and of greatest meaning let me just refer back to that to that statement so for me raising people to be like me and above me that for me i can say is very important and very vital um at the same time um if not leaders then if i if i make someone's life better if I, I am speaking into someone's life, if um, if if I am pouring <laughs> if I am pouring my life into someone, and then that person's life just changes for me, that is what I could say. Lord, take me now. <laughs> nice. Plus, now on the other end, on the other side, now apart from me, if someone else is doing the same to me. That that is that is very sacrificial. So that is that means a lot. I don't know. For me, that's the point of view I am looking at it for. Changing this generation, changing this generation, how we think and how we our perspective and stuff. For me, yeah. So for me, uh, greatest me. However, how, yeah. how's the question? <laughs> ah, however, you understand just. So whatever has greatest meaning in life to me, according to where I am, what I do currently, how I'm raised, I know giving back to the community is just being great. Because even in Islam, uh, the things, like when you die, it says in the Quran, it says when you die, everything else will die except like three things. If you have a good child who is learned, who has learned the religion, and uh, they'll always pray for you two if uh, you have good education everyone will refer to you because you'll be you'll be talked about in books yeah, and other things yeah. and third if you have contributed to building something that helps people especially like a mosque yeah. so if i build a mosque everyone who comes and prays in that mosque mm. i will get the same reward they get even if it's not a mosque, you can build a well where people drink water yeah. from. So yeah. whenever they are grateful for that, you get the reward. Yeah. So what I would want to achieve is, of course, training people on how to give back to the community, showing people how to live selflessly. Yeah. 
at least uh, there is this volunteer spirit that I've been having. I've volunteered for so long before I got employed. <laughs> so just being willing to give yeah. for free. Just give for free and that will make a lot of sense in your life. That is how you gain networks, that is how you gain friends, that is how you grow. Yeah. Just give and you shall be given. Because you don't know when you will be in need. So I think that's, that's it. Yeah. And we could talk more and more concerning this. Yeah. Because I feel, I feel, whatever, so yes, it's so, because it can be broken down to social life, where you are right now, your job and all that, and different things could could be could bring different meanings mm. so you can achieve different things but then they are great to you so it can be the society it can be the mosque in in a, yes it can be in your religion in your home so whatever makes whatever brings out a meaning to you yes a meaning of life yeah so basically that's on our bucket list at least now you have an idea of what a bucket list is. Yeah. You have things that you've been wanting to achieve, so work towards them. You can do Work it. towards achieving them. We know some things look like they're almost impossible. Hey, but hey. I... That you should look up to... When you're working, whenever you're doing something, do something with an end goal. Yeah. So... With an end in mind. Thanks guys for watching. We hope yeah. this has been interesting. And we hope you're gonna like this video share and comment follow us on instagram yes at sharon at sharon underscore Sina. at t-tells yeah. yes t-tells there are stories about tea like you, can, <laughs> you can have your cup of tea and tea stories. stories tea stories yes yeah. so thanks guys until next time bye Peace out.